Royal Art getting away third, up on the outside, he's in charge, racing fourth, fifth on the inside, lots of clout, racing sixth, D Survivor, he of the turn, best wins, racing seventh, and trailing the field, Pine Valley, as they race around the turn, going to the first quarter mark, here comes David Miller, and lots of clout, opening quarter in 28 seconds, coming to the outside, Mike Lejeune goes to the front with two pounds. Racing up on the outside, lots of clout. Now second, Ready Cash sits third at the pylons. Into the turn, Royal Art fourth. Racing fifth, he's in charge. Racing sixth, D Survivor. Racing seventh as they race around the turn. Best wins and trailing the field. Pine Valley, half and 55 and four. Second quarter, 27 and four. Down the back side they go. On top of the field, it's two pack with the lead. Hung on the outside, lots of clout. Inside, ready cash. Moving forth, it's Royal Art. Fifth on the outside, he's in charge. Racing sixth on the outside, best wins. Racing seventh, D Survivor in Pine Valley. Trails about to go three wide. Three quarters, 125 and one. 29 and two, backside. Little more than an eighth of a mile to go. On top of the field, it's two pack and Mike Lashant's by a length and a half. Ready, cash, second, Pine Valley! Closing on the outside! You can't count him out! Two pack, Pine Valley closing on the outside! Pine Valley! Drawn away! Into the winner's circle from dead last to the winner's circle inside of a quarter of a mile. Number six, Pine Valley. Ed Franz, John Knight, Dan Miller, Charles Gata, Michigan and Pennsylvania, the owners. David Knight trains. 13th of the season, Brian Sears, 376. Randy Edmonds, our general manager here at the Meadows, with the presentation. Oh my goodness gracious alive. Three year old Cole Cogenis Beach Boy out of a sail. Trailing the field throughout. Three, four wide. Wins drawn away. 155 and one. Final half 59 and two. Final quarter in 30 seconds flat. Pine Valley. 25 The two D survivor. 1940, 6'5 exacto. <laughs> Tell us what kind of trip you got from coming way out of left field. Well, I, I took him back and I was a little bit nervous at the quarter to see a quarter and 28 flat. And I, that wasn't enough for me from where I was sitting, but uh, they ended up battling and out down the backside and going to the half, lot, lots of clout. And, uh, you know, they got used up pretty good on the front end. And uh, the horse always finishes good and uh, worked out. Well, he sure does. And you're in the midst of a great year. Congratulations. Now, this talks a little bit about uh, the draw then for the final. Is this a horse you're telling us that really doesn't need to draw inside to do his best since you're going to take him off the gate? Presumably in the second heat as well? Well, um, it just depends how everything works out and what it looks like. If I drew the inside and get away up close, I, I, I would take my shot doing that. But uh, my main goal was to finish in the top four, and uh, now it's to uh, get some money in the final. If you had a choice of a draw, if you could pick a post position for this Colt, what would you pick? I, I really can't say. Any, any place inside five and in is fine with me. I'll take any of that. Ain't where you start, it's where you finish. Congratulations, Brian Sears. Thank you very much. Pine Valley, you are right, Roger. This uh, race, uh, they said it wasn't going to be a good one without the two big colts. I want to tell you, we've got one heck of a horse race coming up in the Messenger Final. Gentlemen, back to you.